it was this kind of demented fairy tale set in this restaurant. There's this uh, criminal, this gangster, who is invested in this restaurant, so he has a place to go hang out with his cronies and eat. His wife, Helen Mirren, she's physically, sexually, and psychologically abused by this child monster who goes around, you know, uh, verbally and physically abusing everyone. So, a hot meal for tonight, eh, Richard? Something special, please, eh? How about some, uh, some uh, les hauts d'oeuvres, uh, gâteau aux poivres? Uh, terrine, a filet lamb, a poison, a uh, po po po. It's poisson. What did you say, Josie? What did you say, Josie? What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Poisson. So much of the film is composed of these dolly shots that take you from one room to another, these long extended sequences. It's both revealing the fact that the entire film takes place in a set, and it also gives it a kinetic energy. And it just feels like once the film starts, the, the only breathing time you have that you're allowed is the intimacy between these two middle-aged people who are uh, in this hidden love affair um, right under the gaze of the bad guy. Georgina! What the hell are you doing in here? Georgina! You've been in here for ages, Georgina. What are you doing? Having a baby? Mama, I'm just... I'm just having a quiet smoke. Smoke? Yeah, you know how you hate me smoking at the table, so... Go sight, Georgina! I believe when it came out, it was rated X. You know, everything is done with great intelligence. It's not exploitative, and yet it's very uh, raw. The violence and the sex feels very real. It's a man, he's Jewish, and he's from Ethiopia. What? His mother is a Roman Catholic. He's been in prison in South Africa. He's as black as the ace of spades, and he probably drinks his own pee. You oh, you lying you get in that car. It's a dog for you, you bitch. Maggie, let me join the colour yourself. Michael Gambon does that thing that's true with all great villains, is that you actually kind of feel sorry for him as much as you hate him. He's a none too bright child who's, um, you know, fantastic bully. Well, he must have been with Georgina last night. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, you pissing little worm. <laughs> God, you are an idiot, Mitchell. You could be guaranteed to say the wrong thing at the right time. It's amazing. It's this Jacobean tragedy. But there was such a quiet authenticity to what she did. 